Hi everybody, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to show you how to paint hair like you see here this painting. Whenever I do hair, I always do it differently. I never had a set technique for doing hair, but the other day when I did this painting, it was very quick and very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's just get started. So here is our lovely model, Lindy, or Bubs Beauty. She's a beauty guru on YouTube, and she's going to help us with this tutorial. I shaved her head, but she is still fabulous looking, I think. So let's just put some hair on her. So you're going to need to take a color that's kind of like a medium, basic kind of color. So I have this medium brown here because her hair is brown, so I'm just going to pick it up. And to make the shape of her hair, we're going to use the pen tool. So we're just going to quickly, oops. So we're just going to quickly draw in her hair, like so. Now that we have the shade, let's get the ends looking like hair. Now in this photo, you don't see the very ends of her hair, but since she's got bangs, I'll have to fix those up so it's not just a harsh line. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take an eraser. You can use the smudge tool for this, but quite honestly, I kind of hate it. So I'm going to take a hard brush, and I'm going to make sure my transfer mode is set to pen pressure. All right, that's all good. And I'm going to take down the size so that it's one, so it's really, really small. The size of your brush would depend on the size of your image, and here are the image dimensions for what I'm working on. So if yours is bigger, you can obviously use a bigger brush, but if it's any smaller, you, you just use one. And this is going to create a, uh, a strand effect. So I'm just going to run the brush over the, the hair like this. So it starts to break up the harsh line and get it mo looking more like strands. So now we're going to take a brush with the exact same settings and you're going to make sure you have this hair color selected. And we're going to do basically the exact same thing we were doing before, but this time we're kind of adding it in, like so. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go over and pick a lighter color for the highlights. And basically we're, go we're going to keep doing what we're doing, we're going to just add in all the color. Of course this kind of helps if you have a uh, a reference photo so that you know how to where to put the highlights and everything but I'm kind of just gonna run this color all throughout her hair while focusing more like right here and wherever it's lighter that's just where you concentrate the color more so I'm gonna I want this area to be more highlighted, so I'm just going to add in even more color. And I'm actually going to do it on her bangs as well. And we're going to keep doing this all throughout her hair until you're pretty happy with the color. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I just want to zoom in and point out some of these strands, some of these flyaways that you can add in as well as you're uh, drawing. And they're really easy to you know, draw in. It's just, you know, hair's not perfect. Believe it or not, hair is, is not perfect. Even though when I was painting Lindy, the reference photo that I had, her hair looked pretty perfect. And I had to mess it up a little bit, just so that it's not too perfect, in my opinion. Anyway, so I also kind of want to point out that when you're drawing in all these lines, try to avoid just scribbling up and down like this, or else you might get, like, weird, like, loop things like this and hair doesn't usually act like that I, mean, I could because I mean like I said hair isn't perfect so it could get caught in itself but generally the way I would kind of do it though I wasn't really doing it here very well I, I would just keep, draw from the top to bottom and just draw downward like this I mean draw like curves and draw it like like squiggly like this so it's hair but generally just go down and avoid going up and down scribbling. Okay, so next we're going to do the exact same thing more or less, but this time we're going to go in with a darker color. So let's take our shadowy color and just start going in. 
Okay, so for this next part, we're going to add even more definitions. So I'm going to make a new layer, right click on it, and go over to Create Clipping Mask. And I'm going to take a really dark color, so I'm just going to use black. So we're going to make sure we have a uh, soft brush, bring up the size a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, that's good. And we're going to make sure our settings is pen pressure, awesome. Alright, and we're just going to go over the dark areas very lightly like so and we're going to not do the same thing with the light areas actually it doesn't really work the same way so instead what we're going to do now I'm going to merge them and what we're going to do is take the burn and dodge tool and then we'll go over where we see fit to lighten like so and you can make it smaller so that it's like you're adding in individual highlights for each strand alright alright so there you have it that is basically all you really need to do it's really easy and of course you can add in more values and more highlights more shadows however you want I mean it's your hair it's your painting you can do whatever you want this is just a basic technique on how I got the hair to look like this basically so I hope you all liked this tutorial go check out my process video for the painting you see in this tutorial and feel free to ask me any questions or leave suggestions for future videos it can be for a painting a tutorial or anything really and I will see you all in the next video bye